now let us discuss about two simple concepts such as operating system generation and system boot first let us see about operating system generation it is possible to design code and implement an operating system for one mission so we can generate that means we can design code and implement an operating system for the requirement of a single mission but we can use that operating system only on that system only why because operating system was generated based on the requirement of that mission so we can't use that operating system on another system on another mission so that's why it is better to generate an operating system on any type of mission that can run on any type of mission with variety of peripheral configurations so it is better to generate an operating system generation means to design code and implement an operating system that can be run on any type of mission it may be single user system or multi programming system or multi tasking system or batch system so that operating system should be executed on any type of mission with a variety of peripheral configurations so it can run on any type of configuration so for that operating system needs some data the data will be provided by a program called sysgen program sysgen stands for system generation sysgen program obtains information about the hardware configuration so it mainly uh, obtains these three details first one what cpu is used second one how much memory is available third one what devices are available sysgen program provides all these details to the operating system so this is about operating system generation now let us see the second concept that is system boot so we know what is booting whenever we switch on the computer then certain instructions needs to be executed so that is called as booting so we can implement booting with the help of a program called bootstrap loader program where bootstrap loader program will be available it is available in rom read only memory read only memory means we can perform only read operation we can't perform any write operation bootstrap loader program can can't be installed in ram so can be bootstrap loader program cannot be stored in ram why because ram is a volatile memory so when the power is turned off then the contents of the ram will be lost so that's why at the time of manufacturing that computer the corresponding computer manufacturer will place bootstrap loader program in rom so whenever we switch on the computer this bootstrap loader program loads the kernel into the main memory so what is kernel kernel contains important task kernel contains important tasks of operating system important functionalities of the operating system whenever we switch on the computer then we can work with the corresponding devices input devices or output devices only when the device driver file is installed so kernel contains all the driver files uh, so whenever this bootstrap loader program is executed it loads the kernel into the main memory so cpu can executes the kernel so all the driver files will be loaded so we can use the computer in efficient manner so this is about uh, operating system generation and uh, system boot